know guys it's just one of those things where you try and try but you just in the end you could fail school well you just want to try you got you got to be determined to pass you got to be determined to accept the challenges and take them on where you got if you're on YouTube you got to slow things down and take care of some other stuff but, but but forget that screw school it's summer vacation three months off which means you know you want to know what that means what's up fellow adventurers spires04 here and today I'm here to not to do another figure review today's review is on in one of my older figures but also my favorite Godzilla figure BAM Bandai 8 inch Godzilla 2004 now Godzilla's history we all know Godzilla's history, and as you know, this is my favorite design. This is also my favorite figure. Now, detail. Detail on here is really nice. It's like the final Godzilla, final Goji, just jumped out of the movie. Now, I just love this figure in its detail. Like, like, when I first got this, I just instantly fell in love with this figure. Like, I know I said in the beginning, the Bandai Creations Godzilla was my favorite. Godzilla 2004 was... The Bandai Creations Godzilla 2004 Godzilla was my favorite Godzilla figure, but that was before I got this guy. Like, this guy totally beats him in everything. Like, I still like the Bandai Creation figure, but this guy's just my favorite. I just sent so much nostalgia with this guy. Like, I, if you've seen my review on the Bandai Creations Tanch Godzilla, you know my story of how I became a Godzilla fan. So, detail. Or, articulation. Head moves 360. Arm moves, leg moves, 360. Tail moves 360, which mine did not come with a glue seal. And that part of the tail moves 360. Now, size comparison. Here he is compared to Shlyke's Crocodile. Now, reason why I'm comparing him to that is Shlyke, or, or uh, when Korean Godzilla, they wanted him to have jagged scales. The Crocodile was one of the main inspirations. Here he is compared to Gojira. Now, I consider this okay. He's 50 meters, so he should be like right there. But it's okay. Next up is Ban Prestro's take on Godzilla 2004. Very similar figures. But I prefer Bandai one. Next up is Pap Papo's Transforce Rex. Of course not size accurate, but if you want to make like an Origins of Godzilla video, or like where he remembers he's a dinosaur, he was a dinosaur or something, and have him in two separate areas or something, I guess this could work, like a memory thing. Next up is Mothra, for you Godzilla X Mothra fans. Now, she's still taller, but uh, maybe she'd be more like right there. Now, I know that's Rainbow Mothra, but I'm just going by regular Mothra logic. Next up is NECA's 2014 Godzilla. Eh, I know it's not size accurate. 2014 should be like right there, but yep, eh, what are you gonna do? Next up, he's gonna be compared to my second favorite Godzilla design, Godzilla 2000. Now, same kind of deal with, uh, nine, with 54. He should be like, er, he should be like at least right there, but still looks cool, Gare. If you want to have like a Godzilla Brothers thing. Next up, he's final comparisons with basically his six six inch counterpart, Bandai Pink Tag Series Godzilla 2004. Basically, if you shrunk this figure, uh, sorry. Basically, if you shrunk this figure, you would get this. Both are great figures, and if you can, pick them both up. This guy gets a 10 out of 10. He's my favorite figure. He's, personally, for figure of 2014, that year, I would have to go with this guy. This guy's just awesome. He's my favorite Godzilla figure of them all. And that's all for this time, and I hope you have a, have a great day, and I hope you enjoyed this review. Subscribe. School ends. Spire Zone 4 begins.